So you talk about hidden assets in underperforming assets. What do you constitute as something that's a hidden asset? A hidden asset can be sunk cost invested in unsold buyers. It's going to be unsold prospects, inactive buyers, relationships with distribution, deals you've got with media, salespeople that have that call on people that could do other things, skill sets that you possess that could be shared with other people that don't have it for a piece. Let's say ads that used to work and don't anymore that you could license to other people in other markets, product services that you sell just to one niche that could be packaged to other people as bonuses, as upsells. Those are a start. I can give you a list of a thousand, but those are a couple of them. So you talk about performance maximizer. What does that even mean to you? Well, it, it means that in a revenue system, Bryce, you got all these factors that are driving performance, but most people don't even isolate what they are. And then the ones that even get that far don't have a clue that each one can be made to do a lot more for the same time, same effort same access to the market. And so I have spent a, a lifetime identifying hundreds of what they are, and more importantly, ways that you can make each one of them do more for the same effort or less, time or less, cost or less, risk or less. And each one of them has the ability to multiply your yield, your return, your outcome, your sales, your profits. And it's just a fact that you've got all these performance factors, these levers, if you will, in a business, and well, in a life, actually, but in a business. And most people don't understand what they are, let alone how they are performing, let alone how they could perform better and with no more risk or effort. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs>